I'm Sam Neill. I'm the proprietor. It's a pompous title, but uh, it, it means that I pay the bills. I own three little vineyards, and the company's name is Two Paddocks. Pinot Noir is my favorite red wine. I found some land, planted it in Pinot Noir, with no great ambitions, really. I just wanted to produce something that was good and that I could put on the table. My friends would enjoy it. Then when we got our first vintage in 97, to my complete astonishment, it was really not just good, it was very good. So then I became considerably more ambitious. There are two things that are central to Two Paddock's philosophy. One is that uh, we want to produce the very best Pinot Noir uh, that we possibly can. The second thing is that we want to do it having the best fun that we possibly can. The people that work for me, and I pick them very carefully, know a lot more about what we do than I do. That's the truth of it. I'm not allowed to drive the tractor for good reasons. Well, I could drive the tractor. I could say, look, I'm the boss, I'm going to drive the tractor. But it's actually quite a complicated machine, and I could wreak havoc with the tractor. So I get on the ride on mower, and I row down, you know, I mow between the rows. And I find this very sort of meditative. So here's a couple of two paddocks. This is the 205 uh, premium Pina and our kind of everyday Pina. It's called Picnic. On the front is a photograph of my grandparents and my father, a little boy in a, with a bow tie on, having a picnic at the beach. Put the schnoz in it. When, when my children are always delighted when I put my nose in it because they think my nose is enormous. I, I've never felt it was, but they, they like to see it magnified a hundred times when it goes into the glass. The whole thing speaks to me of gorgeous summer central Otago days and a beautifully approachable, easy to drink, sumptuous and seductive glass full of pleasure. <laughs> It's completely delicious and you could probably have it three times a day with no harm at all, in moderation.